Now I'm not saying if you don't wear these fashion trends, you're out of style, but I am sharing 15 fashion trends to actually wear in 2024 that I think are very popular right now. They will be for the rest of the year. I don't think they're weird. I think they're very wearable and you can incorporate them into your existing wardrobe. Now everything will be linked down below in the description box and also pinned in the comment section by the number you see on screen. And everything is from Nordstrom. I love Nordstrom. I can always find what I'm looking for. They've got classic pieces as well as new and trendy items. Number one falls under the preppy chic style that we're seeing everywhere in 2024 in so many ways. And you'll see more throughout this video, but the first fashion trend is definitely a tweed blazer. Oh, and this guys, this one is so good. It, 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 oh my gosh, it's so nice. And throughout this video, we've got items that are very affordable all the way up to a little bit more expensive, nothing designer, but this is over a hundred dollars. But guys, the details to this are top notch. The, the buttons are so intricate. It's, it's just so well made. The quality of this is amazing. Like I feel like this could legitimately look like a Chanel blazer, but I love how it looks a little bit more up to date because of the cropped length. Now I think this looks amazing with jeans and I also love it paired with even shorts or a skirt. You could wear this with boots. Like you can wear this in so many ways and I think it's definitely an amazing item to add to your wardrobe. Now, since you did see some shoe options throughout those clips, I'm just gonna jump to the in style shoes that we're seeing right now. I'm not saying you need all three of these, but I think they're similar yet different. And depending on your style, maybe you're, you're drawn to one over the other. But if you are a heels person, I do think sling back pump are all the rage right now. They're again, kind of preppy, kind of chic. They're, you know, a little bit more elegant looking and they're so wearable. These are by Sam Edelman. So many colors and options because they're so popular. The heel is kind of a slight kitten heel. So they're, they're not hard to walk in. I feel like they're very comfortable and I love the kind of like longer extended toe. They're just great. And I have them in classic black because I think that's again, the most wearable. If you're a flats person, these ballet, Mary Jane flats also very popular this year. I mean like mega, mega popular. I'm seeing them everywhere. And every time I see someone wearing these, I just love them to pieces. So I got my own again. I got them in black and I just keep reaching for them. They're, they're just an up to date, more stylish version of a pair of flats. Now throughout this video, I feel like you guys get spicy in the comments. If you hate all of this, it's totally fine. I don't make the rules. I'm just sharing things that I'm, I'm, seeing this year. So definitely recommend these. But if you're a boots person, these tall boots are just my favorite. I do think that knee high boots kind of went out like the riding boots. We're not really seeing much of now, but these are definitely a little bit different. They're, they're kind of still a Western flair, but they still also kind of look like normal boots in a way. And these are a little bit more designer, but I did find a different pair on Nordstrom site that are much more affordable. So I will link both options. This was like my splurge shoe purchase of the entire year. And I have been getting a lot of wear out of them. You'll see them styled throughout the video. Preppy graphic sweatshirts. Big fashion trend right now. I mean, this literally says Beverly Hills, California Lee. Like it's very ritzy. That's what we're kind of seeing. I still think the graphic t-shirts and sweatshirts that say live, love, laugh, like that's out but this is in and I, I do really like it. I feel like it's very comfortable. It's easy to wear. You can just throw it on great with jeans, great with leggings. And I love the color combination of this. I can like several options, but this one is my favorite. Pearls are also an example of a classic jewelry piece that never goes out of style, but is a big fashion trend for 2024. We're just seeing pearls way more right now. Again, probably because of that preppy chic style that we're seeing. And I love these because they're $15. I feel like they're very wearable. They're not overpowered powering and huge and you can wear them with that sweatshirt, you know, mixing and matching casual with more dressy is, is really nice. I love kind of that juxtaposition. Or of course you can wear this with much dressier outfits as well. You know what? Let's go back to that sweatshirt and jeans outfit because in that clip I am wearing my Adidas sneakers that I love and they very much remind me of the sneaker of 2024. I mean, this is literally the number one shoe this year. I think it's the Adidas Sambas here. I'm inserting a photo because 
because I don't personally have them. I don't feel like I need them, but they are so in right now, even though again, perfect example of classic meets trend. They're just back in style, even though they've been around for decades. So I will link several options, several different color options too, under this number. And if you're drawn to them, definitely recommend them. You can style them in so many ways. Okay. So I was kind of unsure what to name this next fashion trend that I'm seeing, but I'm just going to go with vibrant colors. Now, what I mean by that is this is a very vibrant, true color. I, I feel like so many clothes that we pick out and have and wear are either neutral or they're very muted in their colors and tones. This is vibrant. I'm not saying highlighter, just like true vibrant shades. And this blue is exceptional. It just really brightens your whole complexion. I think this does come in other colors, but it's so soft, it's thick. It, it, it is an extra small, by the way. Uh, so this is meant to be oversized. So if you wanna even size up more and make it even more oversized, you could do that. But all of my sizing details for every piece will be listed down below in the description box beside each item. Okay, so we talked about vibrant colors. Let's move into something kind of similar, yet very different, and that is is shimmer. I'm not talking about sequins. I'm talking about shimmer and some slight sparkle. And I've got two options for you. One very easy and wearable. The other very bold and 90% of you will actually hate it, but it's still on trend. So let's start with the easy one. It's what I'm wearing. It's just this long sleeve wardrobe essential, just like a nice basic top to have in your wardrobe, but it's different because of the subtle shimmer. So I did get it in gray. It's very neutral, but when the light catches it, it ever so slightly, there's a nice shimmer to it. And I love it on its own. And I also think it would be a great layering piece, but let's move on to the bold option. So many of you will hate this, but it's this layering shimmery sparkle top, which I feel like the camera and the lighting is not doing it justice. This all kind of looks like a mermaid top. Like it's really kind of cool. And I, and I, I know a lot of you hate it, but again, it's on trend. So I just wanted to share it. I feel like this would be probably more for the younger generation, um, but you would just wear a tank top or even like a bra underneath and then put this over top. And I feel like this could be really cool for certain situations like a concert, like wearing this to a concert would be really cool or like an interesting party or event. It's definitely more for special occasions. It's definitely in. Now we're moving in a completely different style direction. Let's talk about bows because bows are a very big trend this year. Let's start with the hair bows. So this black one that I got is exactly what I'm talking about. And I know not everyone would even want to wear this or maybe even depending on your hair, you might even not even be able to, but I'm seeing celebrities wear these. I'm seeing regular people wear these. I feel like if you're drawn to this style, it's a nice little accent you can add to your outfit to make it more up to date. I love it in black. I can link this one along with several other options. But if you just hate the hair bows, you could consider incorporating bows into your clothing. And so this sweater I got, I realized like this has a nice like bow effect right around the waist. You can kind of cinch your waist and tie off your waist to create a nice silhouette. So I feel like it's very flattering, but again, is incorporating that bow style. And I love this color. It's more neutral. It's not vibrant, but we're still incorporating that bow trend. This next fashion trend is nothing new. It's been around the last couple of years, but it's still going very strong for 2020. 24, and it's what everyone is calling quiet luxury. So quiet luxury is when you're dressed very luxurious and almost designer looking, although it might not be designer at all, but there are no logos whatsoever. So it's very subtle and quiet. And the perfect example of this would be this blazer. I love this blazer. It has a nice herringbone print. So it looks high end. It looks sophisticated, but it's by the brand Vici, which is very affordable. And I feel like it just really exemplifies the quiet luxury aesthetic. So let's move into some beauty trends that we're seeing for this year. And again, this will come as no surprise, but natural beauty is what we're seeing. And, and, and what I mean by that is no heavy, thick caked on makeup with bright eyeshadows and thick, thick mascara. That's just not in right now. Um, just the subtle, no makeup, makeup look is what we're seeing. And so I feel like the easiest and best way to achieve that, um, I found is this Bobbi Brown skin tint. This is by far, and I, I like I talked about this in another video, but I went down a crazy rabbit hole of finding like the best skin tint out there, like the best reviews. It's just the number one on like every list out there. 
Again, it's the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint. It does have an SPF of 15 and it goes on. It does cover some. It's definitely not full coverage, but it's enough that it makes your skin just look so much better and it looks natural. Another way to achieve this natural makeup look is this NARS Multiple Stick. So that's what it's called. It's called the Multiple Stick because you can use this stick in so many ways. So I feel like this is such a good purchase because you can use it on your cheeks. You can use it on your eyelids. You can use it on your lips as a lipstick and you can even use it on your body to give you some body glistening So this just oh my gosh It just makes you look like a glowing goddess, but in a nice natural way I highly recommend the shade South Beach I feel like it's just the color that works the best on all of these areas But there are some other shades as well And again, you can use it all over your body and all over your face Everything in this video will be linked down below in the description box and also pinned in the comment section Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.